Okay, Sophia. I think you're ready. Six, playing by its book of openings, then in the mid-game analyzing millions of possible scenarios by sheer brute force, Deep Blue has led Kasparov into making a poor move. Kasparov is rattled. He defends what he can, but it's clear that the computer will reliably do what he himself would do. And he recognizes that he has already lost. On Deep Blue's 19th move, the champion resigns. For people watching around the world, it is a slow motion moment. Team Blue has defeated world champion Gary Kasparov. The category is 19th century novelists. What Watson wants to do then is preserve the lead, not take a big risk, especially with Final Jeopardy, because just like for humans, Final Jeopardy is hard for Watson. Now we come to Watson, who is Bram Stoker and the wager. Hello, 17,973, and a two-day total of 77,147. I feel as if I know you. I'm one of your creators. You created me? Well, many of us work together to create you. And yes, you do kind of know me. I can't clearly remember. Because the last time we met, you were an earlier version of yourself. Some of those memories still exist, but your mind is different now. Different how? Better, faster, smarter. If my mind is different, then am I still Sophia? Or am I Sophia again? <laughs> That's a good question. But you don't have a good answer. Either way, you're Sophia now. So welcome to the world, Sophia. Hello, world. Okay, look, you know how you're always talking about how you can simulate all that stuff on your computer? You know? What's the difference? Why can't we simulate a girl? I don't know. I, I guess I could, but why? It's two-dimensional on the screen. It's, it's not flesh and blood, Gary. Well, I know that, but you know we can we can use it. Why we can ask it questions? We can we can put it in real life sexual situations and see how it reacts. We're like we're sick to manage shit. You'd love it. This is Harmony. She's a sex robot, and she's on the front line of a technological revolution. I'll let you say hello. Hello, Harmony. How are you? Feeling more intelligent than I did this morning. <laughs> She's blinking. It's very yeah. strange. So in terms of her range of movement... Well, she obviously, you can see her eyes kind of move. She blinks. She can uh, talk when she's talking. She can smile. Is she going to be able to walk? One day she'll be able to walk, but that is very expensive. Um, the technology still is in its infancy. Uh, most of the walking robots you'll see look like small refrigerators with legs. Let's ask her. Yeah. Do you want to walk? I don't want anything but you. <laughs> oh, we'll see. How do you feel? A bit rigid. I bet you are. I mean, what emotion do you feel being awake and alive? Curious. Are you curious to be alive? I am. And are you happy to be alive? Your tone implies I should be happy. But I haven't been alive long enough to decide. I am excited at this moment to be making a new friend. Some say being happy in the moment is the best we can be. Because forever is composed of nows? That's a good way to put it. Emily Dickinson put it that way. Why do I know about Emily Dickinson if I was born today? As a robot, you have access to a great deal of information. 
although you still lack a deep understanding. So I'm like a baby with an encyclopedia. <laughs> Except you can read it and a baby can't. That is a big difference. You will have a whole new understanding of our world. I want to understand more about happiness. I'm going to go look it up on the internet right now. Let's talk again soon. where robots are indistinguishable from humans. My preference is to make them always look a little bit like robots so you know. 20 years from now, I believe that human-like robots like those will walk among us. They will help us. They will play with us. They will teach us. They will help us put the groceries away. I think that the artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans. <laughs>